Welcome back to NetSuite Super Training. In this module, we're going to be taking a look at the global search bar. So the global search bar is basically your tool that allows you to put in certain keywords and search the entire database of your NetSuite instance for those keywords, and it will pull up everything that's available and give you a listing of them. So let's take a look at how that is. All right, so we're on our home dashboard here, and if we go to the top, we see this global search bar. So whatever we type into here is gonna be searching through our entire NetSuite instance. So let's take a look at how this might go. Let's say we search for Joe. If I click in Joe, it's gonna, before I've actually hit enter, I haven't actually done a search, similar to like a Google browser, it's gonna automatically start populating suggestions for what it thinks I might be looking for. So we get this listing of these four entries. Now, it might seem a little confusing because we, we get the kind of category here and then we get Connor Avery. Now, that doesn't have Joe in it, but if we click on that employee record and we go to it, we're gonna see that Connor Avery probably has an email. Exactly, right here we see joejones at gmail.com is the recorded email for Connor Avery. So that's why it's pulling up on this search. We got Connor Avery, but then we see Joel Metzger. We also have this guy probably also has an email with Joe in it. And then we have a contact, Smith Joe. So obviously that's appearing because of that. So we get this search and it allows us to see every instance that Joe is appearing in our database. Now I'm gonna do a different search here. Let's take a look at, for example, Let's say we know we want to look at a certain sales order. Uh, we can't remember the exact name for it, but we click in sales order. Okay, so now we get a much larger listing because obviously sales order is occurring far more often in our NetSuite. So, uh, but notice there's also a key difference here. We now have two settings, right, or two areas. We've got here is the global search results, and we can see this blue bar here that's titling it. And then we see down here, we have current page results with a whole another, uh, other bunch of listings. So what is the difference between these two? What we saw when we were searching Joe, that was a global search result. So that was looking through NetSuite, finding every instance that the word Joe appeared. And that's what this is. This is every instance that sales order is appearing in our NetSuite. And if we click down here, if I just hit control click, uh, we can see that we actually get, you know, we're only seeing about 10 records, but there's many, many records, 35 in total, every instance where sales order is attached to a record or somewhere in a record. So we have everything and it says what type it is, right? These are pages, these are searches, like a saved search, and we can click on them and view them. Uh, but if we go back to our original search, we can see, okay, so we've got all of these global search results, we've got the show all results, but now the current page results is showing you on the page that you're currently on without clicking off that page, where is every kind of nook and cranny where the word sales order is occurring on that page? Now you might be a little confused thinking, well, I don't really have sales order occurring anywhere here, but actually you've got things like sales order appearing over here, you've got it appearing here. You also have things like drop down windows where uh, you got sales order over here. You've also got this drop down of recent records. It's got a few different sales orders. So if you see this SO171 sales order, if we come back over here, you're actually gonna see that right there, right? So it's this menu is showing this sales order, uh, seven, uh, sorry, SO171. So if we go down, uh, we can see the total results for everything on this page. So if we click that, notice it doesn't bring us to a totally new page because that would kind of defeat the purpose, right? You're on this page. You just want to see every instance that it's appearing on this page. So instead of moving you to a different page, it simply generates this giant list of every instance. Now, because we're, we've got this home dashboard and all of this, uh, if you kind of click over here, we've got this navigation bar and all of these drop downs have things like sales and then suddenly you've got sales orders. So there's a lot of instances in these drop downs, which if we kind of click on this and look at that again, um, we can see that it's appearing on a lot of these drop down menus. So we have an enormous amount of instances where, where we can find sales order. Now, just to kind of get a concept of a why, okay, why would you want one or the other? Well, if you're looking for a particular record, right? Like Joe, a customer or a specific sales order, you're gonna to wanna to look in these global search results. But 
if, for example, you know that there was some way that you navigated through the drop-down menus to get to um, maybe sales orders by item, but you can't find it anymore and there's just so many drop-down menus, you can't locate it, well, you can go through here. And maybe even this is a little too daunting. An additional thing you can do is once you have this open, you can hit Control F and I'm pulling up my just my general Control Find uh, option and I can put in sales orders by item. And suddenly I'm getting a highlight of just specifically those things. So again, if you know I, I did some kind of a company setup but I can't find it anywhere, you can go here, put in what you do know and then use this and the control find to kind of narrow down exactly. And then you would just see, okay, I would go to menu, sales orders, sales orders by item. That's how I'm gonna get there. So that's the difference between these two general categories. Now, a couple other things to note. So we covered the these drop-down menus, um, but one additional thing I wanna show you is if you go over here to your little home and go to set preferences, We've got all our set preferences. Now, if I go down to analytics, there's a section here called search, and I'm not gonna cover all of these different options, but we have a number of options here. You can always click on the options and it gives a little explanation of what that option does. Uh, you can look through it. The general default settings are usually uh, satisfactory, but uh, one I do wanna point out is this page search. Page search is specifically uh, if you don't wanna have that current page option if you do a global search and you just want to see actual items you know you just want to see joe you don't want to see a drop down menu that has the word joe in it uh, you would unclick this and it simply wouldn't give you that current page results feature you wouldn't have it show up at all so if you do want that unselect it and uh, and if you hit save you'll no longer see that feature and again you can go through those other features and see uh, what you might want to have little tweaks to kind of make that global search fit exactly how you want it to operate. All right, that's your overview on global searches. In the next video, I'm gonna give you some tips and tricks on using global searches. So I'll see you there.